Hey and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. So recently I realised that pretty much every scene that I've made has um, a vignette in it. So like this point now I've added in my nodes and it comes to the point where you need to add a vignette. So I thought wouldn't it would be nice if we could just press Shift A and add in one node and it does the job for us. And there is actually a way to do that. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. We just add in one node, connect it up and then we can just play with the values when it loads in. And play with the values to tweak it to our scene. So we'll just increase this value here. A bit more. So give it a little bit of time for the, um, the composite to catch up. But yeah, the more we increase this here, the more opaque the the image becomes. So if we just mute this now, we can see the difference with and without the vignette. We see it's a, it's a big improvement having a vignette in the scene. It just like draws your attention, obviously, to the yeah to the centre. So what we need to do is set the nodes up once, and then we can save it. Okay, so let's go to the node editor first, and then let's set this vignette. So let's change it to the scene panel, use nodes, and check backdrop. Just move this out of the way. We're not going to need these nodes, but we can use them for now. So let's just hit render, so we can see something. Or what you can do is just uh, delete that and add in a, an image. So that's what I'm going to do now just so we can see the vignette working better. And you don't need to do this, um, it's just so we can see how the vignette looks. Connect these up. Okay, so what we need to do is add a few nodes and then we're going to group them together to make one node. Um, so let's do that now. Let's shift A and add in an image. And this is going to be a simple image, you can download this, there's a link in the description or you can make one yourself, it's pretty simple. We're also going to add in a distort and then scale node because we want to make sure that the, um, the vignette fits any kind of renders that we do in the future. So let's change that to render size and connect these up. Shift A, add a colour, mix, connect that one up to the image. And instead of putting this on the bottom, we want to use this as the factor. And this one, we want to put this one on the bottom. Connect that up to the viewer so we can see what's happening, that works fine. We just need to change the colour from white to black. So select this colour here, change it to black. Okay, so we just need one more node to change the opacity. Just tidy things up a little bit here first. Okay, so let's shift A. And normally I use, um, let's go to converter, a colour ramp. But this is not going to give you us the, uh, the control we need, so I'm going to just use um, a converter a math. Plug that in. Let's set this to 1. Uh, that's not looking right. Yeah, so we definitely want it to be on add. And mute this. Seeing why it looks so it looks too bright. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to check clamp, of course. So yeah, check clamp, and it's on add, and there we go. Okay, so we need to select these now. So right, right click, shift, and right click all the rest of them. Press Control then G to make a group. So if you've not used groups, um, it's pretty fun because you can just group all loads of nodes together and make into one big mega node, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's a very, very useful thing to do. So if we tap back out of that, we can see everything's now in just one simple node. And we need to make a few changes. So let's just name this now to Vignette. And since I've already made one, it's just renamed it to dot zero zero one, which is fine. You can never have enough vignettes, I guess. Okay, so let's tap back into this. So there's a few things we want to change. We want to give, us, uh, give ourselves some control over the the, uh, the vignette. So that's how it's distracting. So let's turn off the backdrop. Okay, let's tidy things up a little bit so you can see it better. Because I know it might be hard to see on the, uh, the video here. Okay, so anything we plug into this input here, or this group input, um, will give us the control we need when we go back out here.
So we'll, let's just drag this value out here and plug it into the bottom and now that's give us the value, the control over that opacity. Okay, so I don't like that value, so let's just get rid of that, unplug it. I'm going to change it to a slider instead. So go back, select the value up here and select delete. So now to add the slider, let's just press shift A and we're going to select color ramp. By the way, this technique was um, I found on Andrew Price's tutorial, so I'll put a link in the description as well, so it's a very good tutorial to watch. So we're just connecting this up and then deleting that, because we're just using the uh, the value of it. So now we can connect these back up, and that's just doing the same thing as if we just plugged it in straight away, except if we tab out now, we can see we've got a slider instead of uh, yeah number value thing. And it's, it's better to have it like this, because you've got a 0 and a 1, rather than more or less than 1 and 0. <laughs> I know that might not make sense, but yeah, just do it like this and it'll definitely work. So let's just rename this now to Opacity rather than Intensity. Makes more sense. So great, we've got uh, a vignette that works with, yeah, pretty simple. So let's just rename these. Let's just rename this input and rename this one because this correlates to this one over here. This is the output. Try that again. Okay, so now we've got them values set up. Let's add some more control, which is pretty easy to do. I'm just going to tidy these up so it might be a bit easier for you to see. Um, okay, so we want to add um, a scale. So let's just Shift D and duplicate this. Put it on the same string, and let's just move this out of the way. Okay, so we want to change this now from render size to relative and then these two values here we want to drag these out and plug them into the bottom of the group input so we can control them later on. Now since it's only labeled them X and Y it would be nice to know what it does on the X and Y so let's just name these uh, scale X and we'll do the same for the Y since if you want to add some more things like translate, um, it'll again be named X and Y, so it'll be nice to know what they do. Tap back out. Okay, so now we've got the node. Um, let's put the backdrop back on. Yeah, so we can change the opacity when we want to, and now we can change the scale as well. Because you don't always want the vignette to be the same size, depending on the scene you want it to be smaller and in a different position. So that's why we're now going to tap back it in and... So yeah, now we can add the, um, the translate node if you want to move these, the, if you want to move the vignette around. So shift A, distort and translate and add that in there. And also plug that value in like we did before. And again, we can rename these so we know what they do. Let's try position. And position. Forget the brackets. Y. So you can add more nodes into this, make it bigger and more uh, control depending on what you need. You might want to rotate or whatever else you want, you know, add more into it. Again, this is not a perfect um, node setup. This is just a way I found I was sick of adding the same nodes in over and over again. So if you've got ways to improve on this, or you know you think there's other things we can add, put it in the comments below, let us know, and we can yeah, improve it. So we just want this node now, and we want to save this so we can use it every time. And the way we do that is we save this file. Save it too, so we can use it again. And now we want to um, open up a new scene. Okay, so now we're in a new scene and we want to append the, um, the, the node setup. So go to File, then Append, and then you want to find the file that you just saved. And then in that file, we want to select the node tree and then the vignette that you named. Select that. And then if we switch this now to the node editor, and it's important to do this step, otherwise you'd always have to append the thing in again. So set your nodes back up. Now if we press Shift A and come down to Group, 
we can add in the vignette so you can just plug that in I'm just going to disconnect it for now just leave it in the corner move this back over set this back up to the default and then back to 3D view okay so now we can uh, save this so go to file and we're not saving it as a file we're saving it as a startup file so pretty much every time we start up a new file that will then be saved in the node setup so yeah we start up a new file any scene that you do you go to the node setup and your nodes it's already there so if you don't want it to be there you can delete that um, save your user startup file and then just always append it from the original file we made or you can leave it in whatever you want but I noticed I use a vignette pretty much all the time so it's uh, yeah, it's pretty handy having it there so yeah again if it's not the final node setup it's not perfect um, if there's improvements you think we should make yeah let us know in the comments and we can uh, make them <laughs> so yeah hopefully this tutorial helps if it did make sure you give it a like and yeah thanks for watching